Yeah, Luke was great in the fourth. Um, not only did he score and make plays, but uh, he had a lot of big rebounds down the stretch. And, uh, you know, I, I don't normally play him a whole quarter, um, but, you know, when we when we began to make the push early in the fourth, I, it just uh, it was just one of these one of these times that, that he was going to have to finish if we were going to have a chance. And uh, he did a great job. I thought uh, Hardaway Jr. had obviously his best game, and uh, he's he's starting to feel his way here and, and how he's going to fit in. And uh, he was he was aggressive, smart, um, and, and he hit big buckets all night long. Coach, how inspired were you about your defensive effort down the stretch? Well, it's it's probably our our best quarter of the year if you just take into consideration the, the whole situation. Um, you know, we were down pretty significantly headed into the fourth. Uh, they're a great finishing team with their guards and their playmaking. Um, and you know, to go 24-9 is is a great effort defensively. You know, finishing with some size helped us. Um, Finney Smith made it a little tougher on Lillard with his size. And, uh, you know, we were able to make enough plays to, to, to get there. So, um, you know, exciting, exciting game. Uh, you know, there was certainly some ugly stretches early and in the middle, but they, they can make you look bad, you know, with, uh, with their skill guys, especially Lillard. You know, him, him in the third quarter was, you know, you know when, it get, when it gets like that, it's, it's just tough. But, our, you know, our guys didn't get down. They kept they kept slugging and fighting, and that was great to see. Is there any like, risk associated with using a big man and Finney Smith on the guard like Lord? Any risk? Yeah. Well, I don't know what you mean by risk, but I mean... I mean a bigger man, you know, a smaller guard. He did well against him, honestly. Yeah. Look, it's just, it's a move. It's a move that you hope to be able to make with a guy like Finney Smith. Um, I think it's a difficult ask to have a guy like that guard him the entire game. So, um, in this case, you know, we went to it late and, you know, we tried Lee on him. You know, Lee was in great position, but he hit a couple of tough shots on Lee. Lee's an experienced defender and um, he's a little bigger than our point guards, you know. But look, Lillard's a great player and he's, he's an all-star. You know, one of these years he'll be, he'll be uh, you know, a legitimate uh, he'll be a top MVP candidate. I mean, he's that good, and so uh, you know he's gonna he's gonna have some stretches like that. But we did um, as a team, we did a great job in the last six minutes to to get the win. Anything else? Max Higgins, uh, defense there in the last few possessions. Yeah, he he had a couple of great verticals. But the last possession, you know, when Lillard got a little bit of an angle on uh, on Dorian, you know, he was there. He went he went vertical and and, and was able to. To cause the miss and then come down with the rebound. I mean, you know that, that's a that's an amazing multiple effort play to be able to do both to, to go vertical, you know, and then somehow jump up again and come up with the ball. Um, but you know, to be a team like this uh, in this fashion, you know, with a comeback like this, you're going to have to be almost perfect down the stretch, and, and our guys work, and there, there was no other way it was going to get done. Talk about the clutch gene. Does Luca just inherently have it, or is there something that uh, flip, uh, switch that flips and the, at the end of the game, why is he able to be so good towards the end, even if he struggles early on? Well, he's pretty good during the game, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, look, he's got a lot of experience, and, you know, I, I mean, you're asking a question that's, that's been asked a zillion times. I mean, just keep watching the guy play. He's a he's a good player, um, and he's unafraid, and, and he knows how to finish. He knows how to finish games. and. Uh, I think he was the one that made the pass to Pop Howells right there and just barely missed the, and that was a spectacular play too. Um, you know, something that's important to understand right now is Luca has uh, an amazing amount of responsibility on this team. You know, he, he's got he's to make good decisions, he's got to score, and he's got to get guys shots, and he's got to guard people and rebound. Um, you know, since the trade, and because Porzingis is not playing yet, um, you know, just more more responsibility is falling on Luca, and this is this is a really important 27, 28 game stretch for him to feel what this is all about, um, and, and 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 be able to learn, you know, what it what it feels like to have to deliver, you know, in all these different areas, 
and he's certainly he's certainly capable of doing it. But you know, it's um, it, it's 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 a little bit different deal than before the trade for sure. Do you have any concern about putting too much on his plate, or is he the guy who kind of guy who responds to, to challenges and kind of embraces that? Well, the, the the important thing is you know I've got to watch his minutes and, and try to keep him fresh um, throughout the games. Um, but in terms of the responsibility, look, all the attention he's he's gotten, and, and deservedly so, and you know some of the heroic things at the end of games, things like that. Um, with with all that comes even more visibility and more responsibility, and and we we've got to we've got to prepare him to to carry this load going forward. Um, you know, through the end of this year, and to pick it back up at the beginning of next year, and. You know, I, I love the fact that, you know, he 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 loves carrying the load. You know, he, he has great belief in himself. Um, and he's he's one of these dynamic young players that has the has the charisma to give his teammates confidence. And so but there can be no compromises, you know, with, with approach. Um, you know, there were a couple times he came down and took wild shots out of context, I pulled him. Bad shot, put it back in, and then he was, you know, he's good. I mean, so sometimes he needs to be reminded of those things. But, you know, we're, we're our job is to, is to keep him, his trajectory, consistently moving upward um, and to make sure that, you know, um, he understands the load and, and can carry the load. And I think he can. I, I don't have any doubt that he can. Thank you.